no-nonsense advice for women blindsided by divorce. You need your own bookkeeping. We've got some work to do, ladies, but it's not as scary as it On sounds. On the financial front, it's Nicole Lappin. Let's move on to how divorcing women should handle their finances. Well, Steve, what do you think the biggest thing couples fight about? Money. Above everything else, you need your own bookkeeping. Marissa and Tina, we've got some work to do, ladies. Here are some quick, easy tips. First, check your credit score. If everything was under his name, you don't have much of a credit score, so we have to start building your credit score. Number two, create an expense tracker for yourself. So whatever monthly income you start bringing in, break that down with 25% going to bills and loans, 25% going to housing, 15% going to transportation, 15% going to food, 10% going to savings, and 10% to fund money. And finally, Think of creative ways to make money. All the stuff, all the household stuff you guys had together, get rid of it, including the rock. Check out IDoNowIDon't.com, which is where you can sell your wedding and engagement ring. What? Seriously. Not only do you get cash, but it's a very cathartic experience, <laughs> so it's win-win. <laughs> I agree with everything she said. And what's really cool is, I don't know if you've noticed, but, you know, you got a smile on your face now. And that's what we're trying to get you to understand. It's not over that there is help, okay? After the show, I am going to sit down with both of you and give you free financial advice so you can get it together and get it all. We are going to go through with this step by step. It is not going to be overwhelming, ladies, I promise. We need to take control back. We need to be empowered with our financial lives and our future. Yeah.